Now there are times when you have an online store that you simply want to make the process of making a purchase as simple as possible to help with your conversion rate. Now there are lots of ways you can simplify the process and in today's short video, I'm gonna show you one such option. So how about making the steps from looking at a product to putting your payment details in a two-step process? Cut out the cart page and go straight to the checkout. If this interests you, then join me as we do just that. Now, the typical online store operates in a very traditional fashion. You have a product that either is a simple product, so in other words, there's no options to set, or you have a product that you have to choose options. If it's the latter, you click to go into the product page, set your options, then go to your cart page. Or, for example, with a simple product like this, you click add to basket, That'll add that to your basket. You can then view your basket. Once you're happy with that, you can take a look at the details. You can proceed to the checkout. And that's great if you have a very complex site. If you have a very simple site that doesn't require this, you may only be selling a couple of products and you want people to be able to purchase incredibly quickly, then this option is going to be great because we cut out all of this middleman kind of process to get something quick and easy. So let me just get rid of what's inside here. We'll just empty that out, go back to our normal store page, and we're gonna activate the plugin. So the plugin we're using is Direct Checkout for WooCommerce. I've installed it, I'm just gonna simply activate it. Once we've activated it, it's going to use its default settings, which we can go in and take a look at configuring, which we'll take a look at in a moment. Let's just jump back over. Let's refresh this. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say add to basket, which doesn't make a lot of sense. So we're gonna change that later anyway. So we're gonna say add to basket, and that takes us straight over to the checkout process. We can put our payment details in, put our details and purchase. We cut out one, two, three steps, depending upon how simple or complex your store is. This isn't gonna be perfect for every situation, but for simpler stores that want that option to immediately go to checkout, this could be perfect. Now the eagle-eyed among you may also notice that there are a couple of fields missing in this particular checkout process because we have some control over that aspect too to again even streamline the checkout page even more so. So let's just jump over and take a look at the settings and how we can configure things. Jump back over and the plugin we're using is Direct Checkout for WooCommerce. We're going to come into the settings option and inside there we have a couple of different tabs across the top. You can see this is the general section and we can set up some of the basics. So add it to cart alert, add it to cart link and so on. In other words, do we want to replace those? So we say replace the view cart alert with direct checkout. So we can choose exactly what throughout our store is going to be replaced by this direct to checkout option. We can also come to the archives, the products and the checkout stages as well. So we come to archives, for example, Inside archives, we can say replace the add to cart text because at the moment it doesn't make a lot of sense. Come back to our store, it says add to basket and we're bypassing that completely. So what we can do is we say yes, we want to change that. We can say what we want to apply this to and we can choose between simple products, group products and so on. So we leave that as simple for now and we're just going to say buy now or whatever you wanted to put in there. We'll save the changes on there come back over to our test store, refresh that, and that now makes a lot more sense. So we say buy now, takes us straight over to the checkout process. Simple, really is quite straightforward. You can then do some options on the products pages. So if you're looking at a, a product page in more detail, you have control over what you can do in there. So you can see you've got replace add to cart text on there, and again, if we choose yes on there, it'll open up and say, what do you want to change it to? Now you can see some of these other options are not available to us right now. However, if we come to checkout, we also have some options available there. So you can see we can choose what fields we want to remove. Now these ones that are ghosted out from my understanding is these are features that are only available in the pro version. So it's kind of a little bit of a, a squeeze to say, well, look, if you want these, they're all here for you, but you have to pay. That's my understanding. I could be wrong, so please correct me if I am. So what we can do is we can remove those checkout fields. So if you don't deal with companies and so on, you can remove any of these fields. And we can click inside and we can remove pretty much any of the fields that we want inside the checkout page. So you can streamline this right the way down to whatever you want. And again, we've got even more options then to remove things like checkout shipping address, checkout order comments. So let's say we remove that. We don't want the comment section on there. And you can see, we can just change whatever we want that's available and we can save our changes inside there. And then that's gonna make changes to our overall setup. So if we come back over to our site, 
the moment we have the notes at the bottom and when we refresh this we should find that they are now no longer available so very easy to work with it's not a complex plugin it has a lot of really simple options but if you want to streamline the whole process of getting people from looking at your product to actually making the payment for the product and having access to it or buying it this is a really simple plugin that does a lot for you so let's just quickly go back and take a look at the general tab now in a little more detail now that we see the archive and the product and the checkout options. So this is where you control kind of the functionality and how it replaces and what it replaces in the way that WooCommerce would normally work. So you can see each one of these has a little help icon so you can find out exactly what's going on. So you can do things like add it to cart alert. Do you want to replace that? So you can see, do you want to replace this with a direct checkout? If you don't want that to happen, you can disable it add it to cart link to replace the view cart option and take you again direct to the checkout add to cart direct add to cart button behavior do you want to do that to go direct yes or no so again you can disable that if you want to and add it to cart redirect to now at the moment this is saying it's going to go to the checkout but you may not want that to be the case so you can set that to go to the cart if you want to or you could set a custom url so you may want to have some form of upsell option or something in your entire process where you could set a custom url inside you and have that go to that custom url before the checkout side of things and then finally you've got your replace cart url so at the moment do you want to replace that yes or no and what do you want to replace it with so you can say no checkout or custom url so you've got plenty of options. The full documentation is here should you want to know how to use any of these features and it'll give you a full breakdown of those key features, installation, activation, all those kinds of useful bits of information. But to be honest, it's a very, very simple plugin that doesn't have any really complex issues. You can't really go too far wrong with it, but obviously when you make any changes, run a quick test to make sure it's doing what you want it to do. But the whole process of setting it up and what it does can be incredibly useful for the right purpose on the right kind of store. So now that you've seen how to improve the checkout process, how about checking out some other awesome free WooCommerce plugins to help you build a better online shops without spending any more money? Now take a look at this playlist to see some great options. Now if you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos come out. But if you didn't find value in this video, well feel free to hit that thumbs down button twice because that seems to work pretty well too. As always, all of the applicable links for everything covered are in the description. My name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.